Hello, and welcome to this series um, where I'll be teaching you guys how to mod Eaglecraft and make your own things, such as Boost, Starlike, or even the Winston mod that recently released. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, make a folder wherever you want for your new mod. And you're going to want to open this in Terminal. If you're on Linux, of course, you open it in whatever Linux thing you use, like Bash or whatever. I'm personally not a Linux user, but this should work fine for both. Then you're going to want to type git clone, and then head over to this, which is the eaglercraft 1.8 workspace on uh, git.eaglercraft.rip, and copy this little HTTPS link. It's the easiest way. And then back here, you just paste that in and hit enter. It's going to make a new folder here. And eventually it will download or copy over all of the files that you need. All right, now that our cloning has been completed, you can head over and close out of this terminal. You won't be needing it anymore. And go into the 1.8 workspace and here we are. So we have all these files, of course, and they're all really good. So let me just explain some of them first. SRC is, of course, your source folder where um, all your code is. JavaScript is your output TVM stuff. So that's for like when you want to run it in browser. Then there's um, a lot of this stuff like doesn't really matter and you won't be editing it, um, except for some of these scripts so of course offline download takes whatever you have compiled and turns into an offline version in one file signed client does a similar thing it turns it all into a file or two um and this is what you want to share if you're going to be publishing your client compile js and epk are well js for javascript and then epk for Eaglo pack, I think. It's basically all of the textures and resources. Then there's this desktop runtime. In here, the only two that are really important are resources and Eclipse project. If you're going to be editing an Eclipse, which I'm not going to be doing for this tutorial, except for maybe one video on the desktop runtime, you would open up this Eclipse project inside of Eclipse. Resources is where all of the textures lie. So, of course, there's like pack.png, and then in here is where you'll find all of the Minecraft textures and models, as well as all of the Eaglercraft stuff like capes, GUI, all of that stuff that you'll need. Let's get coding. So, first, you're going to want to make sure you know where this is and open up for this tutorial. I'm going to be using IntelliJ. I have IntelliJ Ultimate, however, Community works just fine. Okay, now that we have IntelliJ open, if you have never done Minecraft development, then you're going to want to go to the Plugins tab and install this. these two. Minecraft development adds support for mainly plugins and mods, but it has some file format support that could be useful, as well as NBT support will allow you to edit data from the Minecraft files just much easier. So let's head over to projects and open a new project. Find where you've located your workspace, and if you're on Eclipse, of course, then you would be going to desktop runtime and opening Eclipse project. However, because we're in IntelliJ, we're just going to be opening up this Eaglercraft 1.8 workspace. Once you open your project, a lot of things are going to be happening. You're mainly going to want to wait for this at the bottom where it's importing the project to complete, since that's just the big thing that's happening. Let's close out of this readme that opened and open up our project. To start us out, we're going to make the simple change of just changing a texture. Let's head into the desktop runtime folder, then the resources folder, 
then assets, Minecraft, and textures. If you were doing other things, of course you could go into the different folders, but for now, let's just edit our textures. We're going to head into the GUI folder, then title, and let's let's try editing this minecraft.png. For this, I'm going to open up a nice tool called Blockbench that lets you make Minecraft titles. I'm not here to give a Blockbench tutorial, but if you want to know, you just install the Minecraft title plugin, then we're going to make our own title, for example, uh, my cool client. Then go to render, render, make it for Minecraft before 1.19, and let's just save this. Now we can exit out of Blockbench and go into our downloads folder. Let's rename our Minecraft title that we made with Blockbench to just Minecraft.png. Now we drag it into the title folder, click refactor, overwrite, and now if we check this, we have our My Cool Client. Closing all this, we can head back into our file explorer and hit the compile EPK file. Compiling your textures usually doesn't take a lot of time, but compiling JavaScript sometimes does. Even though we haven't made any JavaScript changes, this is our first time downloading the workspace. So we're going to have to hit the compile.js.bat or .sh if you're on Linux and wait for this to co compile as well. This may take a second. When compiling, you may get a couple of errors here such as this one, but as long as it says warning and something about like, oh, deprecation, that should be fine. This is all part of the EagleCraft code that's already in there, and I'm sure Laxadude has considered these before. Once the build is completed, it'll show this build successful message. If you have any errors, then you've probably tried cloning the wrong repository, or you've edited the code and have made an error. You can always check up here, and besides these two warnings, then it should be fine. Once we're done with that, we're going to scroll down and hit the make offline download button just to test this out. This takes, like, no time at all, and you can just hit complete. Now let's head into the JavaScript folder, and you'll notice there's a lot of files, but these are our two offline files. I'm just going to open one up. As our game loads, you'll see it functions just like regular EagleCraft. And boom, here it is. It says my cool client at the top and everything else functions like regular Eagler. You can check and edit your profile, add capes and do whatever you want, just like Eagler. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as I'll be making more for EaglerCraft in the future. If you had any issues, make sure to join the Igloo modding community. The Discord link is down in the description. Or just add me on Discord and DM me. My DMs are open. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. How many times can I say I'm sorry? How many times will you take me back? Cause part of me dies when you say don't worry Cause I know inside that you're keeping track If I'm what you want and everything I do wrong Write out the pros and